Alrighty guys, I went and picked another car up. Uh, this one's an 84 Ram Charger. I got it really cheap. I paid 500 bucks for it. So, you know how the how the deal goes. You always got to get them cheap or it's not a deal. So, the body on it is pretty clean. I got a clean title. It's got some dents, but no rust. The guy that had it, he put a brand new dual exhaust on it, which it's Magnaflow. This side's clean. Just got that dent right there. Let's go check out the inside. I have the door panels. Somebody painted them. Somebody put Lincoln seats in it, which are super comfy. This is all a nightmare. I don't know if this is an original steering wheel. Oh man, looks like somebody was attempting to switch over the gauges. I have no idea what they were doing, but that was free. I had to order a gauge cluster for it off of eBay. I think that was like 70 bucks. And of course, as always, it's a blue car. Why is it that every single car that I pick up that's a Mopar is blue? If the Wagoneer is blue, which technically isn't a Mopar, I guess it's a Jeep, so. The Dart is blue, the Roadrunner was a blue car, or the 74 Satellite was a blue car, the Plymouth Wagon, the 55 is a blue car, 52 Plymouth is a blue car, but check out what's under the hood. It's got the 318. Three eighteen LA. There's some funky action going on here. We got a lot of like house stuff with it. There's like like house lights. And then look inside the car, it's got like I don't know, it's just like he went to Dollar General and just got a bunch of stuff for it. Oh look, it fell off. Yeah, see this. This was up here on the roof. So that's custom. But, so the deal is, is he said that it, it, it was dry, he was driving it, it died, and he couldn't get it to start back up. I did fiddle with it and I jumped it. I got it to run for a second, but unfortunately there was black fluid pouring out of our cooler lines. So I think that there might be a transmission issue and the gear selector is, is jammed up. So you can't, you can't move the gear selector, but that transmission fluid being black like that, you know, I'm pretty sure that something's going on. Let's see, I mean, that's the training fluid that's that transmission's probably shot which isn't too big of a deal i mean we can pull the transmission and uh, have it gone through for a thousand bucks by our our new buddy dylan the headers man that is freaking sweet so it's got a set of headers on it long tube and duels brand new dual exhaust with magna flows the guy put a fan on it an electro fan brand new master cylinder brand new booster it has a brand new starter so come check out the underneath no rust and you can see it's got a brand new exhaust so as always um, what do you guys think what should I do with this old Ram charger fix it keep it fix it and flip it same thing as the Jeep Wagoneer. Um, I'm going. I plan on doing a budget. I, no, not a budget. I plan on fixing the the whole car, getting it running perfect, potentially painting it, and then doing a flip video breakdown budget where I give the price of what I paid, all the parts, and then what I, my profit is. And I may do that with this Ram Charger. You know, I, I'm in it 500 bucks with a clean title. 
um, somebody put brand new tires. The last guy put brand new tires. I mean, these have no miles on them. So just in parts alone, this thing was a freaking steal. Even if I wanted to part it out, I could take all this stuff off, all this stuff sells. Um, I could keep the 318 because it has the headers on it, keep the exhaust system, keep the magna flows. But I think that this car should really probably be put back together and then sold to somebody that's going to actually, you know, love it, take care of it, and and drive it. But even the battery's good, so let me go. Let me know what you guys think. This is just a, another quick unedited video. So, all right, catch you guys on the next one.